Hey guys, what's up? It is Andy, and I'm here today with my fire breathing. Let's dragon, go, baby. Dave. Let's go. Guys, guys before I uh, I let Dave unleash, I'm gonna ask him a couple questions. I want everybody to know me and Dave are doing a big event in November. It's gonna be in the Lion's Den, Scottsdale, Arizona, right here. You're gonna be with me. Okay. Now, a lot of the times at events, it's just me, but I'm bringing Dave with us. Why? Well, number one, Dave he has a lot of great qualities. How old are you, Dave? 57? I'm 56. 57, 56. Give me a bicep flex. Guys, look at this. Right Dave is 56. He's jacked. He takes good care of himself. His wife is behind the camera. He's an amazing dad. He's an amazing husband. But this guy also knows how to kill it in business. I always say the art of achievement and the art of fulfillment, both of them are super important. So this one-day event me and Dave are going to be doing, which I'm going to be asking him some questions. By the way, he's going to be dropping, like, how he built his life. What are some of the mistakes he made? You want to know this shit. What did he do right to help build the life that he has now? And also, like, how is Dave 56 years old and he's in great shape and he's in more, better shape than what most 25-year-olds are in? Okay, I'm going to be covering a lot of cool stuff in this podcast, but there's going to be a one-day event. I would love to have you guys there. If you've been following me on social media, you guys see the number, just text it. We'll send you information so you guys can come with us on this one-day event in Scottsdale and hang out with us. Um, super important. Dave, Yes. so you're in the real estate space. Yes, sir. Okay, before the real estate space, you're in the automotive space. Yes. Okay, before that, you're 18 years sober. Yes. Is that right? 18 years sober. I have been sober, just completely had to change my life because I was all fucked up. Okay, good. I was way no, out of line. I want to start this, and then, then I'm going to start asking them questions I want them to rip. Everybody watching this, every one of you has a new level. Every one of you, you don't know who you can become. You have no idea, okay? And that's why we're doing this event because I see so many people right now, man, nobody believes in you. Or maybe you don't even believe in you no more. And all you got to do is get in a room, and we're going to talk about a little bit about that today, um, with people and go total immersion. Just dive into the best life that you want with people who believe in you, who have the right information, who are really doing it. And dude, I know this sounds crazy. It happens. I got guys that were broke with me that now, you know, run 10 figure businesses, guys that at nine figure, seven figure, eight figure guys that literally no one else uh, believed in guys that were alcoholics. Like he were 18 years ago, just didn't have the right leader. Okay. We make bad decisions when we're around the wrong people. So we love you guys. I want Dave to talk to you a little bit about his story today. Um, Dave, really quick today, you're a coach. You yes. coach people, you help them find their best life. You're also in the real estate industry. Is that correct? Correct. You're helping people make a lot of money in, 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 in real estate. Um, when you coach people, what are some of the things that you like? And then I'm going to go back into your story. What are those th some of the things that you like to really focus on to build a badass? Here's the thing. We, we have to go all in. And people need to have that mentality. And sometimes they don't. They don't. Maybe someone's never believed in them. Maybe they, maybe the way that they grew up, you know, they didn't have that support in their childhood or later on in life. When you believe in people, that can change their life right there. No different than you and me. You believe in me, right? Sometimes I don't believe in myself all the time. And it's like that change, that recreation piece of pouring into someone saying, yes, you can when they think they can't. So basically step one, what Dave's saying is he creates a brotherhood in which when somebody joins his coaching program, first and foremost, yeah. you know, I always say like, especially with a man, big deal. Two things that'll ruin a man's life. Number one, having the wrong woman. Number two, not being surrounded by the right men. And so immediately Dave says like, hey, like, I know what you want. I'm like-minded. You're going to tell me your goals and I'm going to positively peer pressure you to get those. And we're going to create a game plan together. And just that alone, success magnitudes big time. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. As you're listening to me talk to my brother Dave here, I've been coaching him for about a year. This guy's a savage. Okay. This guy's making multimillionaires in the, the real estate space, but also he's coaching people how to live their best life. Dude, I'm doing an event together with him in November. I want you with us. I want you with us. Okay. Um, so where do we start? Number one, you see the number below in the description box. You probably see it on the screen right now, but it's also in the description box below. 
Just shoot a text message. That's it. Shoot a text. I'll send you the information on the event in November. Number one, we're going to be doing a badass workout the night before. And then the day of the event, we're going to be crushing it all day long. This will change your life. It'll show you how to become wealthy. It'll show you how to make a lot of money. And you'll spend the whole day with us. Come on. Guys, text the number. We'll get you the information. Let's get back to the video. Um, let's talk about some areas that... You know, when you coach people, you talk about, is it, is it like physical? Do you run into the mental side? And then you run a business strategy with them based well, on what they're doing? Yeah, it, it, again, it's, it's all of it, okay? And, and I think that that's the part that a lot of times people think, well, real estate's different. You know, it's, it's another job. No, it's not a nine to five deal. And when I break down with people, what it actually looks like, it's, it's the lifestyle, it's what you do physically, it's your health, it's what you eat, it's all of it to break that down into components that they can, they can start to wrap their brain around it, okay? Because mm -hmm. here's what I find, job mentality, when you're in sales, that's, that's, death. that's, that's death, man, because, yep. oh, 501, I'm done for the day. Mm -hmm. No, no, not in real estate, because you could walk into someone at the grocery store that wants to buy a house just through conversation. So yeah, it's work-life integration. Right? Absolutely. In and, and, and the accountability, here, here's the biggest thing that I find is the accountability to themselves. See, I had to get accountable to myself 18 years ago. I, I, I had to step it up to get sober. Okay. And so I see in today's world, people don't want to hold themselves accountable because it's hard to get up on time to not hit the snooze button, to go put the body in motion, eat healthy. Like these are things that you have to do to function at a very high level yeah. and people want to skirt around that. Yeah, if you want to be successful, I want you to think about this right now. What do human beings hate? What do they hate? They hate accountability, they hate responsibility, they hate pain and they hate suffering. Like, all, like everyone hates that. And so the God of this generation is comfort. So Dave's saying what he does is that he, he helps you practice doing some uncomfortable things, which actually gets you to the comfort that you want, which is the life that you want. And I've seen agents totally transform in a very short time. So do you like to train agents that are already in the space or do you like to find people that are wanting to get into real estate so you can start with them from, the, from, from scratch? It, it doesn't matter, e either way. Now, the ones that have been in real estate, okay. I don't know who coached them. I don't know who trained them. And maybe they've never had a coach, yeah. Or maybe they've never had a coach. Or maybe no one's taken the time. Because in real estate, what they do is, and this is crazy, just because you have good paperwork, they consider that, well, now you're a salesperson. No, there's so much more to it than that. How do you talk to people? Mm -hmm. You know, this, is, this isn't, uh, you know, a customer service type of scenario where you just walk up to the counter and say, I'd like a three bedroom, two bath. Yeah, it's you not know, transactional. It's like you, you got to learn communication skills. Have to. Do you teach all the communication skills? 100%. And, and we deep dive into that. Your tonality, how you look at someone when you shake their hands, mm -hmm. how you reply to a text message. Fact. I mean, it's all the basic one-on-one -on -one necessities. You, mm -hmm. you got to understand, I, I told this to someone the other day. I didn't have a cell phone until I was 31. That's because you're so old. They didn't make them to your. That's 31. crazy. I'm just like kidding. there was no new, <laughs> there was no reason for it. I had a pager. Oh, nine one one. Better no. better call this number. Yeah, no, no, no. I I totally understand. A lot of people they they don't get that. Back when there were pagers. Correct. Yeah, that's like you either caught someone at their home or at their office. Right. Yeah. When I worked in a car dealership, I was 18 years old. Somebody drove off the lot, and my manager's like, "Fine, I'll take the deal," and I'm like, "I gotta call him back," and. You had a home number and a work number, and you would literally call their home number as many times as you can, and you'd leave messages on their answering machine. Hey, it's Andy down at the car lot. I just want to tell you, I got my manager, got that deal approved. Then I would even call his work. And it's like, there was no in-between because no one was traveling with a telephone. People don't realize that with technology now- Dude, you if you can't make it now, you're an idiot. <laughs> no. You know what I mean? You got more resources I, I, I now um, than ever. Okay, let's talk about, so, so obviously that's some work ethic, you know what I mean? Um, stuff like that. Let's talk about mindset for a little bit, right? Um, you know, how fast is it, how fast can you change someone's life? Here's the deal. They have to bring the energy and effort 
Okay. That's my that's my one Where wild card. Where does energy and effort come from? Doesn't that come from like believing in yourself though? Absolutely, but that's the one pi- that's the one piece that I need them to bring to the table. Okay, as long as they're open minded, you got to give a shit. That you have to. Good. Now, if you're just mopey Joe, it's not going to work. The good deal is my channel gives a shit. I know you guys do. Good. So, <laughs> so they give a shit. Now, what do we do? Okay, so now we're going to build off of that. Okay. Now we're going to give them the legs that it's going to take to perform in the real estate market. Okay. Okay. And and again, if they've never been in sales or if they've had previous sales, that's where we're going to work into this to where what's your daily what's your daily schedule going to look like? What time are you going to get up in the morning? We even have a 6:30 a.m. accountability call mm, because I want to hold people accountable. Okay. Right now we live in a world where accountability is kind of like an afterthought. We have to be accountable. I'm accountable to you. Yeah. My team can be accountable yeah. to me. I'm accountable to my wife. Like that's how it happens. Mm-hmm. Because if you don't have accountability, you're not gonna make it. Super important guys, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, Andy, I'm not built like that. Bullshit. Yes, you are. Okay, gotta train. That's the way it works. Train or complain, it's your choice. Okay, every day I train the greatest in the world. You know what I mean? Are you ready to kick some ass and build your legacy and make history? If you are, in the description box below on this YouTube video, there's gonna be a little link. You click on it, enter your phone number, email, full name, and I will personally reach out to you in the next 24 hours. If you're serious about kicking some ass, going to the new level, recreating next version of yourself, I'm your guy. Let's kill it. Yeah. And no, I, no, and d- I, disciplines are everything. And I hate it. I hate seeing people quit on themselves. Do you think everybody, I mean, this is for all of you. Do you think everybody needs to learn real estate? 110%. It's what. I mean, like, I mean, there's a lot of people in this world. If you look up how m- more millionaires are being made right now than anything else, it's from real estate. Now, there's lots of different sectors in real estate. And I think a, a coach like you, Dave, can introduce someone to the world of real estate what real estate looks like, different kinds of real estate. And I think that if you're gonna become someone who's successful, I think everyone needs to learn real estate, whether it's how to buy it, how to sell it, how to invest in it. And so like getting your license in something that you believe in is super important. Um, I've got an insurance license um, because I mean, I I need insurance. I I believe in insurance. I believe in financial um, services. I believe in putting my money somewhere and having it made. Well, I learned all that through taking my insurance test. You know what I'm saying? Well, and, and again, there's so many different facets to real estate. There's, there's wholesaling, there's flipping, there's an Airbnb model, residential, commercial, but you have to start somewhere. Yep. Because sometimes people come in and they want to do all of it. Okay, yeah. hold on a second. Here. Let's get good at one thing and then you yeah. branch off. Because I got started in this. Um, I flipped houses. Mm-hmm. That's how I got into real estate because mm-hmm. my wife was the realtor, so I didn't need a license. Yeah, and so we kind of had that whole deal all dialed in. Okay, mm-hmm. but then it got to a point to where she goes, oh, "You'd be really good at it." Mm-hmm. I'm like, "Really? Well, let me see." Yeah, and I took yeah. that test. And you liked it, and I passed it, which I didn't want to take the test, by the way. But do, you got to take the test. Nobody, it's worth it. Nobody wants to take a test. And by the way, in the beginning, um, you guys, Dave, this one day event, me and Dave are doing. It's to teach you about the real estate space. First and foremost, it's to teach you about the real estate space. It's to teach you how you can make money with real estate. It's to teach you what kind of opportunities exist if you didn't like what you were currently doing and wanted to get in real estate. Bottom line is the education, like like learning it. Um, you got in with flipping, you got in with this, you got in with that. Um, you, you don't have to get a license or do anything. You come in, you learn, you do the training. Dave can even coach you and teach you. And then if you decide you want to get a license, that's up to you. That's just a total separate deal. I mean, here's a great example. So a recent agent that just joined our team here at the local level, he never really had done open houses. Mm -hmm. And so I taught him the whole art form of how you communicate when someone walks through the door. Just walked. It reminds me of the car business, kind of like doing a little walk around, right? And he practiced uh, and was kind of having... uh, issues at first, but he got really good at it. And just recently he ended up putting almost a $2 million house under contract because of someone through an open house. Mm. Now see, agents always bitch about the leads. I want leads, I want the good leads. Well, they're all leads. They're all Are leads. you good? Well they're, you know, all, <laughs> well, they're all people. I mean, I, I hate it when my team calls and, and they don't do it anymore, but they, they call leads. I'm like, they're people, okay? Like, and who sells the most leads? 
is who's the best with people. And it's people knowledge. And I think, Dave, one of the things that you teach also with real estate is understanding real estate, understanding the earning opportunity that's there, understanding how to be really great at it. You know, it's like the rule of 10. Get really good at something, find out how to do something that most people can't be great at, become the best at it, and then get 10 times even better than anyone else around you. It's the rule of 10, you're a multimillionaire. Yeah. And, um, but I think the art of communication and the art of dealing with people, right, in this, in this one day event we're gonna be putting on, and then also like whenever people coach with you, they learn how to communicate with people, which I think that that's the one big invisible yes. matchy, uh, magical piece like in this world that pays the biggest money right now. Thousand percent. Uh, I will say agents that have started with us that have adapted quickly are succeeding literally overnight. Okay. What, with what, the art of communication. What is what is a sign of a good of a of a good communication person? What is a sign of a good real estate agent? If you were to interview ten people right now, what would you look for if you were going to hire one of them? I find that even during. Or you the, wanted to coach someone, and you were like, "Dude, that person has the best chances of being successful." What would you look for? Number one, how how the interview process is going, like how. How are they asking questions? How, how did they sound on the phone? How did they sound in a text book? What does their email look like? Like some people get all prim and proper. That's not how it works in today's world. Yeah. You need to be, you, you need to make someone feel comfortable, yeah. right? Because again, you, like you said, the leads are people. It's yeah. the, it's the single mom looking for a house. It's the, mm -hmm. the uh, couple that just got uh, divorced and now they're going their separate ways and you have to watch how you talk. Like, all that stuff matters and it's not a transaction. There's emotion involved. Yeah. There's a lot of emotion yeah, yeah, involved and, in real and, estate. And, and empathy, you know, from the single mom to the, to the divorce. I want you to hear what he said. He said, uh, the, the art of communication is like the number one thing, but really the art of speaking to people with familiarity, like you've known them your whole life, really allows people to feel connected to you. Yeah. Or, and, and with those people, you can make connections that most people can't make, and you can make relationships that most people can't make. And so it's not always about the inventory that's on the market. It's not always about the product. And it's not even the reputation of the company you work for. It's truly the way that you know how to treat people, the way that you can make people feel. 100%. And you, you can never be prepared enough like we've gone to multiple listing appointments and the woman lost her, her spouse and now she has to sell the house because she can't afford it. To sit on the other side of someone, mm -hmm. having them have a complete meltdown because they lost their spouse, like you have to know how to handle that. You just yeah. don't go, oh, here, here's a napkin. I'm sorry for your loss. So let's talk about the open house schedule. Like you, yeah, you got to put yourself in their shoes. Oh my God. And, 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 and again, this is the piece that is missing in our industry. Yeah. People don't know how to talk to other people. It goes agent to agent, um, agent to client. It is, I want to change that. And that's why we're putting on this event because we're going to change the way mm. real estate is taught. No more paperwork. I'm done with that shit. Mm -hmm. They 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 want to talk about oh this is how you this is how you do real estate. You have perfect paperwork. No, you have to know how to talk to the client. Mm -hmm. We're skipping over the most important part. Oh hey, this is how you get leads on Instagram. Great, you get a bunch of leads on Instagram and you say they suck because you don't know how to talk to them. Yeah, I just told my guys this the other day. I said because um, we do a lot of contracts, right? And um, my guy. So I have this guy, and this is super important. And, and this is what happens all around the world. Um, this guy is, uh, has the best attitude in my company. Incredible attitude. And then the more serious, you know, like, hey, your paperwork's gotta be great. You gotta dot all the I's, cross all the T's. You gotta make sure everything's right. You gotta double check everything. You gotta make sure what's owed is done. and what, You gotta just do these things, right? Well, over time, he's actually became more um, analytical with the paperwork more professional with the paperwork, but he's lost his touch with people. And I looked up yesterday and I go, dude, I would rather you fuck up all the paperwork and make people realize like how like much we love them and how great we are than like to have perfect paperwork, dot all the I's, cross the T's and have people not like you no more. I'm like, you're losing your edge, bro. You for, you, I didn't hire you for perfect paperwork. Now, do I want the paperwork done right? Yeah, but like the most important thing 
is the way that we we interact with people. Sure. You know what I mean? Because the systems and processes will 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 fix the paperwork. Yeah. Well, the market isn't going to want to. Is the market decides what you're worth. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. As you're listening to me talk to my brother Dave here, I've been coaching him for about a year. This guy's a savage. Okay, this guy's making multimillionaires in the, the real estate space, but also he's coaching people how to live their best life. Dude, I'm doing an event together with him in November. I want you with us. I want you with us, okay? Um, so where do we start? Number one, you see the number below in the description box? You probably see it on the screen right now, but it's also in the description box below. Just shoot a text message. That's it. Shoot a text. I'll send you the information on the event in November. Number one, we're going to be doing a badass workout the night before. And then the day of the event, we're going to be crushing it all day long. This will change your life. It'll show you how to become wealthy. It'll show you how to make a lot of money. And you'll spend the whole day with us. Come on. Guys, text the number. We'll get you the information. Let's get back to the video. And the market wants to be with people who give a shit, who care, and who are an expert and a professional. Again, it's how you make people feel. Mm -hmm. If you are going for the kill shot, like most agents do, okay? This is one thing that, you know, it's like, oh, hey, Andy, you're looking for a four bedroom, two bath. So how soon are you looking to, to buy? Mm -hmm. You're just like every other Joe out there. Yeah, it's, just, it's, a, it's the same, it's the, the, the real estate sales course training. 100%. Sign, find, qualify. Yeah, and I have a way that, and this is awesome, by the way, we don't even talk about price in the beginning phases of mm -hmm. when dealing with a client, even though there's it's it's it came in as a lead. Okay, it says five hundred thousand Scottsdale. It it doesn't matter. You're you're not going to say, hey Andy, you're looking for a house for five hundred thousand. Oh, hey, so how fast mm -hmm. are you looking to move? Mm -hmm. No, that's everyone else is doing that. We do it in a certain way to I where you that. wait till the end, and yeah. it's almost like, oh man, you do it I, right. Andy almost forgot the most important important part. What's your budget? Yeah. And it makes people go, oh, it isn't about the money. Yeah, I love that. Because if, if someone said, hey, I, I got a hundred grand I want to spend, and I'm looking to be in North Scottsdale, what do you how do you think the agent's going to sound? Oh, shit. There's no way. Um, yeah, so that's going to be really you, hard to find. Yeah. 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 It doesn't work. But, but the point is, is that... Um, people basically, the way that I see people treating people right now is that they have to prove to them that they can buy before they give them their, their best, or they have to prove to them that they're a good lead before they give them their best. So if a lead came in with a hundred grand looking for a house in Scottsdale, right? Immediately the agent would be like confused, not treat them the best, be like, this doesn't make sense. Instead of being like, hey, look, nothing matters except for I know that you guys are looking for a roof over your head. You're looking for a different place. Tell me about the situation. What's going on? And then now it seems like you care, and then you can get opportunity to back yourself into what's really going on. Where the other way, somebody says, I'm looking for a $3 million house in real estate in, in Scottsdale. You're like, oh, this is a good lead. And at the end of the day, you go into that one more optimistic. Correct. You should go into all of, all them, of them with just people. Yes. Um, Guys, super important, um, Dave Panazzo, right? Uh, awesome guy, amazing, 56 years old, energy of an 18-year-old, Did uh, was in the car business for, I don't know, 15 years? 15 years. Yeah, 15 years. He's been in real estate now forever, sober for 18 years, which is which is forever, but I just, I love when people are comeback kids. I love when people are overcomers. I love when people can overcome obstacles. I love talking about, you know, when, when we see successful people, most people, they don't want to talk about the things, you know, that they used to be. They want to talk about today. You know, I like, you know, talking to people that I've seen overcome crazy stuff. Dave has. Me and Dave are really close. Um, I've seen his coaching program. It is insane. I've seen the results of the people who are inside of it. Um, you know, not only who they're becoming, but the income they're making, the lives that they're building. And I love it. I've never seen um, anyone or, or very many people in my life that care as much as this guy. And, you know, he's not a big social media guy. I'm kind of pulling him out there a little bit, he's right? He's pushing me, guys. You know, and I'm like, hey, no. you got to get out there, Dave. You got to get out there, Dave. But he's so ate up with changing people's lives and, and teaching them about real estate, which you guys all need to learn if you want to become wealthy. And by the way, also, if you want to earn a lot of income, you can come to this one day event and we're going to teach you how to make, you know, seven figures a year in real estate. And all you have to do, okay, is you see the number below, just shoot a text and say, give me information on the real estate event coming up. That's it. We'll send you over the details. Guys, I want to tell you, this is my good friend right here. 
me and him are changing a lot of people's lives. What I love is that he's mastered the art of real estate. Um, if you want to become wealthy and you want to create a good income, and you can also learn how to create a lot of passive income with real estate, right? Oh. Um, this is the best place to start, okay? So I love you guys. Dave, how can they follow you on social media? Where do they find you? Follow me on uh, Instagram, the Panazzo team. Um, Facebook, we're on the web, so uh, we're all over the place. I I'm working... Andy, I'm working on that piece, okay? I, I don't have 2 million plus followers like Andy, but I'm working on it. Yeah. Because again, I'm gonna change lives. That is my mission, okay? I want to change lives in this industry because it's time for an overhaul and we're gonna bring it. We're gonna bring we're gonna, I'm gonna throw we're Dave through a we're window. We're gonna bring it. <laughs> I'm gonna throw Dave through a window when he comes out. But I wanna tell you guys, real for real, no, no BS, you guys see that uh, it, it's your time, okay? Obviously, it's uh, 2024 at the time we're making this. The first half of this year is gone and over. I heard people three years ago say they were gonna change their life. Two years ago, they said it. Yeah. A year ago, they were said it. This year, they said it again, and now we're halfway through the year, and I'm willing to bet a lot of you, you're going to the back half, and you, you already know that you're already ready for 2025 goals to come again. Look, dude, just draw a line in the sand, okay? One day, total immersion, teaching you how to become wealthy, literally how to make more money, and then how to recreate your whole life. That's it, guys. I'd love to have you with us. You see the number below. Shoot us a text. We'll send you information on the event. We love you, Dave. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. And then I will see you guys soon, hopefully at the event. You guys, text the number. See you soon. Let's get it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are, set your notifications, and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.